One final relay to come. It's the women's 4x50 freestyle 20 point relay. Teams are just coming out to their starting positions. Five teams again taking the start here. Team from the USA go in lane number two. Cheryl Angelelli, Kaylee Berenbaum, Alicia Gilmas, and Noga Neil Kistler. Good anchor leg, Noga Neil Kistler. Silver medal tonight in the 50 freestyle. So she is a good person to have on that final leg. The Russian Federation, Agafanova, Kolmogorova, Diodorova and Guseva. Oksana Guseva, remember her on the anchor leg in London for the, the Russian team. The Italian team, Giretti, Chiaroni, Trimi, and then Manuela Romano. Manuela Romano, gold medalist in that 50 freestyle earlier this evening. The Hungarian team, Janet Adami, Gitaraxo, Kathleen Engelhardt, and Fanny Ilas. Very experienced two swimmers in the centre there of that relay team, Gitaraxo and Kathleen Engelhardt, both gold medalists from Atlanta in 96. So been around for a long time. And what about this Ukrainian team? Savsovsta, Spiderska, Prologaeva, and Palian. Big well, names there. Big names, big team, big opportunity. And uh, I got the same feeling there that I had with Brazil. So let's watch out for the Ukraines. They are, of course, the world record holders there. 250.11 set that record two years ago. So. For sure, the favourites in this final of the women's 4x50 metres freestyle relay, 20 points. Same drill as the last one. If you are an S1, you're worth one point. An S2, you like Zanet Adami there, you're worth two points. And as long as the four swimmers don't add up to more than 20, you have a legal relay team. So we have two swimmers there. In fact, Prologaeva, also a gold medalist from this evening in the S4 class. So the lead-off legs, Cheryl Angelelli, Alexandra Agafanova, Gila Giretti, Janet Adami, and Victoria Savtovska. And Savtovska from Ukraine, swimmer in the S5 class, I think has the best start. Looking very good, some eight metres clear, but let's not forget the same sort of tactics can apply here as they did for the men where the lead can change quite dramatically on each and every length. It just depends where you put the individual classification swimmers. And taking over in lane number six, Palian now into the second 50-36. 0.69 was a split time for the Ukraine national team. Second place, the Russian Federation. She hands over to Agafanova. Third is Italy. Guretti is on her way down the second leg, but clear into the lead. The national team of the Ukraine and really making a huge difference looking across the pool for real rather than the picture there must be some 19 meters and look who she's handing over to Prologaeva immediately into her stroke there Whoa. and she's got a massive massive lead over the rest of the field second place looks like it's the team from Italy and in third place, the team from the USA. Now they've got strong finish too, the USA team. And the others are struggling to get back on terms, but the Italians and the Americans are all chasing the Ukrainians. This could well be a world record swim here from the Ukrainian team. I'm just wondering who they're gonna have on the final leg here. The scoreboard doesn't quite 
match our um, our papers that we have here. Well, they only have to come home in 47 seconds, Paul. 47 seconds, that's all they need to cover this one length. The national team of the Ukraine really making it their own. Let's keep an eye on the clock. It's 2 minutes 50.11 seconds. They're on 2.29 and the clock is ticking. Well, there are the takeovers for the minor medals, but here is the finish. Look at this time. Oh, my word. Oh, 237.16. Massive world record. Let's get back to the racing for the other medals, though. It's very close there. The Italians may be coming through for the silver medal with Romano. And a great battle for bronze between Guseva from Russia and Nia Kersler from America. It looks like Guseva is going to get in there, but she's not going to catch Emanuela Romano from Italy. Italy are going to be in for the silver medal. And Guseva, is she going to hold on to the bronze medal position? She does. Guseva will take the bronze for the Russian team and the Americans just in fourth position, just 0.4 of a second behind the team from the Russian Federation and the Hungarian team will be the final team to finish in fifth position but what a swim there from the Ukrainian team well we thought they would be the favourites it was Annie Pallian on that final leg there the scoreboard wasn't quite right what it said but they did match what we have on our papers here and it's definitely Anna pa Annie Pallian who did that final leg for the Ukrainians to bring them back in a world record time, sensational world record time of 237.16, almost 13 seconds off the previous world record mark. And a great, great performance for Italy, some 40 seconds faster than they were on paper, stopping the clock in 3.08.71 for a tremendous silver medal. So great, great individual performances there from the national team of Italy. Is Federska going away for the second leg from the Ukrainian team. She handed over to Prologaeva. All individual medalists in their own right. And that's a pretty safe changeover. They've got a bit more time there, haven't they, Nick? They can improve on that time. Look at that. Oh, very safe changeover. They didn't have to be quick. But Last half a second there. Yeah. But uh, I, the whole team won the gold medal, but Prologaeva... She just flew down that length. She's absolutely... It, I'm lost for words in terms of the great form that she's in. But it's a team effort. But the world record was always on. And what a leg she did. Palian did a great, fast final leg. for well, the Ukrainian team. It's a good finish, wasn't it? There's Viderska there in the lane next to her. Big, broad smile over both their faces. And it is gold to Ukraine. A very delighted team from the Russian Federation to get in for the bronze medal ahead of the Americans. And the Italians, well, the gold medalist from earlier this evening in the S6 class, Romano, anchored the Italians to that silver medal. What a fight for the bronze. We just saw it almost there. The Russian Federation take the bronze ahead of USA. Italy the silver and Ukraine take the gold in a 